Tonight, the conservative blogger who was reportedly the original target of the alleged beheading plot is speaking out. Our in-depth coverage continues live now with Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen. Geller claims that she's now the number one target for ISIS, and a law enforcement source confirms with CBS News that she was the person Rahim was referring to when he allegedly discussed committing a beheading. Now, Geller, you might remember, she leads an organization called American Freedom Defense Initiative. She was the organizer of that controversial Prophet Muhammad cartoon drawing contest in Garland, Texas last month. That's where two suspects opened fire on a security guard before being shot and killed by police. Today, Geller told CNN that she's been the target of threats ever they're coming after me for violating the Sharia, for violating the blasphemy laws, and they mean to come after everyone that doesn't abide by, voluntarily, the blasphemy laws under Islamic law. I'm under 24-hour guard now, so that's dramatically changed. Anybody that speaks critically of Islam will, be, will find themselves in this position. In an interview today, uh, the Boston Police Commissioner said that Rahim did mention Geller by name, but that the plot to kill her was more along the lines of wishful thinking. Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.